Right now we have Isaac with us, known as Recycled Propaganda. Thank you for being here. You're welcome. All right, so we ha are under pressure right now because <laughs> you're performing live. So. Yeah, so I did the first layer at home. You know, this is what I prepared earlier. And I'm just going to like peel off this first layer. All which, right, so you can get started. Yeah. So what is Recycled Propaganda? It's an so, interesting name. No, it is. So Recycled Propaganda is sort of a product of my angst when I moved here from the UK. And it's sort of how I wanted to better the world. I was going to, you know, join the Peace Corps or, you know, do work for charity. And I thought, why not use my existing skill set and, you know, do art and design to help people, like, you know, question their environment, better their lives and better society, really. And that's what I think everyone should do. Just use their own skills yeah, they exactly. already have. There's no box that you have to, you know, fit your career in. You can do whatever you want or whatever you put your mind to. And I think that there's a you know, a high amount of ignorance in America about a lot of issues. And I'm trying to like combat that in a visually appealing and approachable way. So everyone can understand too. Well, maybe everyone doesn't understand, <laughs> but that's why you do like different pieces at different levels. So some, you know, everyone's going to get, some maybe people aren't going to get. But it's not necessarily about getting it and not getting it, because a piece can mean like various different things to different people. So that's what I like about the sort of ambiguity of art, I feel like, reflects the sort of ambiguity within society. There's no wrong or right answer, it's just different perspectives. Okay, so how did you come up with the name Recycled Propaganda? Those words together are very interesting. Because to me, when I moved here, watching the media, I was blown away by the sort of amount of propaganda. Like, to me, that means, you know, it's black and white, it's wrong or right, um, it's good or bad. And I wanted to recycle that into something that wasn't, that was ambiguous, that was grey, that was open to interpretation. So the idea of recycled propaganda is recycling sort of this black and white, you know, very certain world into something that's a little bit more open to interpretation. All right, so what exactly are you doing right now? So this is going to be the first layer of this stencil. So I've just put a little bit of adhesive on. Um, put it down to the board, make sh put um, some bits of card around so I don't overspray. And then I'm just going to do the first layer. So this is the hand, so that's going to be predominantly pink. And then this is the little bit of broccoli, so I'm just going to do that um, broccoli, broccoli <laughs> colour. Just like some greens. So what kind of messages do you like to share through your art? Um, just anything that I experience. I try and keep fairly well sort of informed about what's happening in America and in the world. So I like to do pieces that either I feel have impacted my own life or that I feel people in America need to know well, and globally need to know more about. Other than that, you know, anything that I feel like I can come up with a good visual that represents something. Um, this piece was an interesting one. I actually originally designed it for a new vegan restaurant opening downtown called Veggie Nation. Mm, can't wait doing, for that. I'm doing all the artwork in there. So they were like, design some concepts. And this was one of the concepts that they rejected. And I was like, well, you know, let's do some art with that concept. So to me, it's about having that relevance is, you know, useful sometimes because then, you know, you have a more real life basis of what you can design stuff around. Okay, so it's also kind of like current events, but through art. Sure, yeah, no, exactly. I try and keep my finger on the pulse, although, like, you know, you can't be involved in everything all the time. Everybody needs, like, breaks from it, so I'm not, like, always doing stuff about things that have just happened, but I try and keep it fairly relevant, yeah. Yeah, so let's see you in action. I know your art is visually appealing, too, but also the way you do it. And so... Sure, so that's the first layer okay. kind of done and dusted, so... We're just going to touch it up a little bit. There's a few pieces I missed on there. And then just give this a couple minutes to dry. Okay. And then we can do the black layer on top of it. So we have a mask right here. I can see why you wear that a lot. <laughs> it definitely well, you know, smells you like want, spray paint in here. Yeah, contact high is good, but not constantly every day of your life. Cause, you know, but you know, maybe it inspires some of the work. Who knows? 
So what else, how else are you re displaying your artwork besides the Yeah, so like paint? physical art is just one of the sort of modes that I try and convey the message. To me, it's all about like having different platforms that appeal to different people. You might love art, other people might love t-shirts, other people might love stickers. So mainly I, did, I digitally design them to start with and then I take them to certain places. So I can do a mural of it or I can do an art piece of it or a print of it or a t-shirt or a tank top or it's about trying to capture as broad an audience as I can. So you have t-shirts, stickers, artwork, mural, murals. Prints, yeah, pretty much anything. Where can know, people find that work? All on my website, recyclepropaganda.com or Instagram, Facebook, Yeah, Twitter. I see a lot of your posts on Facebook. Yeah, good. <laughs> We're yeah, just talking go. about Facebook that. Facebook works. <laughs> yeah, it does. So, um, <laughs> Why do you think these messages are important and what do you hope people can get from it? Because I feel like people uh, often have bad things about, to say about society but don't really want to do anything about it. And I think if you're just going to bitch about something and not take responsibility, you know, the government is for the people and of the people, you know. So I think everybody just needs to take a little bit more interest and responsibility in their own, their own country that they live in. I'm not even originally from here but I have you know, great pride in living here and I feel like it's a shame how many people don't care and there's just a real disassociation and lack of empathy with everybody. You see a homeless person on the street, well, get a, get a job you bum, well what if that was you and people just drove by you, there's not enough putting yourself in other people's shoes and to me that's the fundamental first step that you know, we need to achieve before we can achieve any sort of change or better society. All right, did you have another layer you needed to yep. do? Yep, I think we're about ready. Might be a little bit premature, but... It's all right. It's not the first time. <laughs> <laughs> so do you have any logos? I see um, a logo that you have. This is a logo. This is like a, one that I stencil on the back of stuff. And okay. then down at the front there, I think, as well. All right. I also notice you drawing a suit, a guy in a suit with a mask. What does that represent for you? That was that's one of actually the first design that I ever did um, under Recycle Propaganda, and I started in 2012 when the whole banking crisis was sort of at its peak. Um, and that one was called Gassing Wall Street, and it's oh. a really like highly ambiguous piece, which I like. You know, everybody has a different interpretation to it. To me, it meant that, you know, the banking industry is so relentless that even if you gas them, they would still turn up to work the next day just wearing a gas mask, being like ready to screw more people over. And, you know, it's one of those pieces that's sort of evocative, but everybody has a different meaning and a different perception of why it is. Some nice outline there. It's like magic, right? Okay. <laughs> I like how it's not exactly perfect with the wood here, so. Yeah, no, and I like to keep my pieces a little bit more rustic and have some, like, you know, emotion to them because I have the t-shirts and the prints. If you want something perfect, I'll get a computer to do it. Mm -hmm. If you want something with a bit more, like, integrity, I can do it and make some mistakes. So. Okay, so we're <laughs> recycledpropaganda.com. Yeah. We can yeah. check out your work. For sure. Thank you for coming, and it looks great. <laughs> <laughs> You're welcome. Thank you very much. Thanks. So don't go anywhere, because when we come back, we're showing you what made Vegas glow and an exclusive interview to an upcoming performance.